The new boss Artillo is a mini version of Killisto and this guide will serve as a baseline for you to understand the base mechanics of what you need to kill it. For starters, this will be the gear setup. You're risking at most 900k. If you're not comfortable, feel free to change around while I explain the gear really quickly for alternatives too. The dwarf helmet is for your BGS spec plus defenses. Black dehydes is for your ranging bonuses plus mage defense against any PK. -er. Ring of suffering, very self-explanatory. If you aren't comfortable, then feel free to opt in for a recoil. Otherwise, an explorer's ring is just fine. Boots of Brimstone, since it doesn't give any negative stats in any combat style and has decent defenses, if anything you can swap that for any boots of your liking such as snakeskin boots. Glory, since it's good for all combat styles and has decent pair bonuses. Bear's Gloves, otherwise come a bracelet if you're really not willing to risk that much. And the Ardoin Cloak for melee and prayer bonuses. Now for your main hand weapon, I chose to go with a crossbow. You can go with a Vigorous Chain Mace which has proven to be a little bit better than the crossbow. However, I enjoy range a little bit better with this gear setup, so specifically I'm going to to be showing a crossbow kill in this video. Now avoid using the Thamarin Scepter against Artillo since apparently it's not really good against him. Trust me, I've tested it myself, it's actually garbage. To get to the boss, just teleport to the Ferox Enclave using a Ring of Dueling. Run northwest and enter the cave, but be warned that you may already find other people while scouting in case you don't have 20kc already to use the peak option. You'll pay 50k upon entry and it's only paid once until someone PKs you. Artillo has three different attacks. The normal, which is very obvious, range, shaped as a boomerang, and then the mage attack, which will knock you back into a wall and deal a whole lot of damage. Simply pray mage when you see him charging up for the attack. And in case you were slow on that and you took a lot of damage, make sure to angler, Sayerdome and Brew, and then Karam 1 to triple eat. After your damage, Artillo around 75% and around 45%. I don't know if the percentages are accurate, by the way. I'm just guesstimating over here. He will summon traps on the floor, which will root you in place. So make sure to avoid them. You can run over them if you're one tile in between to skip them if need be. Set up your quick prayers as protect item, protect for melee, rigor, and preserve for your boost potions if you brought any on you. You can opt in to freeze the boss or if you want to, you can just use Venge as I'm doing right here. I feel like it's a little bit better for me. It's a little more comfortable for me as well. So feel free to do whatever you want. I just chose to do Venge over here. To start the kill, you're going to get your BGS out, use your super combat, spec the boss and immediately switch to your main weapon. Make sure to save up one spec for in case a PK shows up and you want it to anti-PK. Sip a stamina potion if you're running a bit low on run energy. You can kite the boss around if you feel like it since its ranged attacks are less accurate than his melees. Make sure to venge every now and then to do the extra bit of damage or when you see a PK, make sure you're venged as well so you can do a little bit of damage to them and scare them away. This is the magic attack which is very lethal so make sure to react in time for it otherwise you're going to take upwards of 58 damage I believe. I don't know if, you, if it can do a, l a little bit more than that but I did take a 58 at one point. Keep ranging the boss until it's 